Welcome to pre -math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular DE as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, we get this uh, green shaded quadrilateral uh, EACD. And moreover, this uh, segment BD is 13 units, whereas this uh, side length uh, AC is 12 units. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AE is equal to this segment BE. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region, so therefore, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green uh, shaded region uh, area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC. We are talking about uh, this big triangle uh, ABC minus uh, the area of the smaller triangle uh, BED. We are talking about this uh, triangle uh, BED area. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this big triangle uh, ABC and the area of the triangle uh, BED as well. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this point uh, A with this point uh, D. And as a result, we got these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, AED and the other triangle uh, BED. So therefore, we can see that this uh, triangle AED and the other triangle uh, BED are our congruent uh, triangles according to side angle uh, side uh, congruency theorem. As we can see this side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length. This side uh, is in common. This angle is 90 degrees. Likewise this angle is uh, 90 degrees as well. And since uh, these two triangles are congruent so therefore this side uh, length uh, is congruent to this side length uh, as well. If this side uh, BD length uh, is 13, then this side uh, AD length is going to be 13 units as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACD, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 12, 13, and now we are going to calculate this side length uh, CD. And now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets, 5, 12, and uh, 13. And we know that uh, this side length is uh, 12, the hypotenuse is uh, 13. So therefore, this unknown side CD is going to be 5 units. You may use the Pythagorean theorem as well to calculate uh, this unknown side uh, length. So thus our segment uh, CD turns out to be 5 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side uh, BC length is going to be 5 plus 13 that is going to give us uh, 18 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case uh, this side is uh, our base and this whole uh, side is the height uh, of this triangle uh, ABC. So therefore the area of this triangle uh, ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, 12 uh, times uh, 18. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 108 uh, square units. So thus the area of this triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 108. And here's our next step. Let's label uh, this segment uh, AE as uh, X. Then this segment uh, BE is going to be X uh, as well. Then this uh, whole uh, AB length uh, is going to be X uh, plus X is going to give us uh, 2 times X. And likewise, we are going to label this uh, perpendicular DE as uh, lowercase uh, h. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is our angle uh, alpha. We know this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. 
Now let's focus on this uh, bigger triangle uh, ABC. If this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees, then this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we can see that this uh, big triangle uh, ABC is uh, similar to the smaller triangle uh, BED according to angle-angle uh, similarity theorem. And since uh, these uh, two triangles are similar, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. So therefore we are going to have a ratio of the side length uh, AC and AB that is equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, DE and BD. And now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, AC. This is our AC side length uh, which is uh, 12. So I'm going to replace this side length by 12 over here. And now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, AB. This whole uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 2x. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by 2x over here. And now let's focus on this uh, DE and we can see DE length uh, is lowercase h. So I'm going to replace this one by lowercase h. And finally this uh, BD length we can see is uh, 13 units. So I'm going to replace this one by 13 over here. So therefore we can write uh, 12 uh, divided by 2x uh, equals to h uh, divided by 13. And now we can see 12 and 2 reduced to 6. So this is going to give us uh, 6 uh, divided by x uh, equals to h uh, divided by 13. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore our x uh, times uh, h value is going to be 6 times 13 is going to give us uh, 78. And now I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BED. And we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, BED. And now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, X. The height of this triangle uh, BED is uh, lowercase uh, h. So therefore the area of this triangle uh, BED is going to be a half uh, times uh, x uh, times uh, height uh, h. So therefore the area of this triangle uh, BED is going to be x uh, times uh, h uh, divided by 2. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. We know our x times h value is uh, 78. So therefore I'm going to substitute uh, x times h value 78 uh, over here. So therefore that is going to give us uh, 78 uh, divided by 2 which is equal to 39. So thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, BED turns out to be 39. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region. And we know we figured out our triangle uh, ABC area as 108 over here. And the area of the triangle uh, BED as 39. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, 108 minus uh, 39. And if we subtract that is going to give us uh, 69 uh, square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 69 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.